Hey there, so if you're wondering why I have a bunch of random reviews from Metacritic on a PSP game, it's because I don't. They're actually not random. The reason I'm doing this is because I just made a Luminous review for the PSP, and if you're just joining me from watching that, welcome. Uh, let's. I appreciate you watching my review, hope you liked it. And if you're just here and you haven't watched my review, definitely go check it out. You don't really have to watch one or the other first. You can watch this first and then go check it out. I'll have it linked at the end. So let's, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at some reviews of Luminous that I found on Metacritic. And these are just straight reviews that I pulled straight. I just copy-pasted them back in this Word document for my convenience in the studio here. So really quick, the format is I picked out six reviews, two of each type. So two positive, you know, green, two middle ground yellows, and two negative reds. And I'll, I'll just go over the quick things that I highlighted here. So this one is from Weird N. It was submitted on September 19th, 2005, and they gave it a six. So I've got my highlighted bits here. Firstly, the rewards aren't great enough. I have to say, I actually, I agree with that. I don't think there's much of an incentive. The skins are cool, they're fun to unlock, but you're not gonna just, like, you're only gonna unlock a certain amount and then you're probably gonna just play because you like the gameplay. He also says the versus challenge with the CPU gets ridiculously hard, ridiculously fast as well, and that's almost verbatim what I just said in my review. I found this review after I wrote mine, I swear, and that's why I chose this review, because he, reiterated that point for me so yeah the challenge mode difficulty skyrockets no bueno it's a solid puzzle concept with enough flair to keep it interesting i agree with that for sure all right the next one this is the middle ground uh it's from a a a s s s s s s s uh, submitted November 15th, 2019. Oh, I didn't even notice this was almost a brand new one. Gave it a 5 out of 10. Challenge mode is repetitive versus CPU, CPU mode repetitive. I kind of agree with that. As I pointed out in the review, this is why I said it really just needs a shuffle button to mix things up. Like, that's all it really needs, really. All right, next up, this one's kind of wonky. It's all split up, but it was from Ian W on September 7th, 2005. Gave it a 1 out of 10. Ouch. Appalling game. Really tried to like it. Went back on day 9 of the 10-day trial. I'm assuming 10-day trial. Really boring game, doesn't grip you at all like Tetris or Bejeweled. I told, I disagree. I think it really grips you like Tetris. I was gripped like I was with Tetris. They're, they're compar comparable, I think. Or many other puzzle games. Plus has the limitation that is not really a pick up quick and play, as you need the sound to really play. I also really disagree with this. I've been playing this the entire time I've been reviewing it, while I listen to podcasts and things of that nature and been completely fine. Maybe the music helps some people because it speeds up and kind of lets you know how you're doing, as I mentioned before, but I just have to say I disagree with that. I don't think you need the sound to play at all. Leave it and pick up another game. Rent if you can rather than buy. I also disagree with that. I think you should pick this up on whatever console that is your console of choice. All right, next we have an anonymous user July 4th of 2006 is when this was submitted. They gave it a zero, another bad one. This game was a real bore. I found no innovation in it. It was fun for about a half an hour, but it gets boring, bland, and repetitive easily. Unlike the DS Puzzler Medios, there is nothing original here. What a waste of cash. Man, that's brutal. I mean, I just... I have to kind of admit, Luminous doesn't really... It's not groundbreakingly innovative, but it's just classic fun. That's what I'll say to that. Okay, let's move on to the positive ones, shall we? Mike H on April 25th, 2005 submitted this. He gave it a 10 out of 10. The one thing that I can say about this game is that it is like digital crack. I have not been able to put it down since I bought it. Great game. I mean, I don't quite think it, I wouldn't go that far, like that's, this guy really liked it. I didn't quite 
think it was a, as addictive as something like crack, but we're all entitled to our opinions. All right, next one, Nick B, September 11th, 2005. He gave it a nine. The latest gamers crack. There we go again, more crack. It's like gamer crack. Has that Tetris vibe and lots of bells and whistles to make it pretty along the way. Easy to sit back and, and, and play for long periods. One of the few games I know I will keep around for the life of my PSP. So pretty cool. And uh, just so you know, there was a lot more positive reviews. There was like 80 positive ones and maybe 20 middle ground and maybe like 10 negative. So it, the majority of people really loved this game. Okay, so my numbers were quite off, um, but you can see the majority was positive, but I got the negative wrong. It's about 38 and the mixed was 25. So there's that correction. So yeah, I guess I'll just throw this in. These are the avatars, because I haven't unlocked a whole lot of them, so I don't have a lot of good examples, but these are the avatars. They're just gray and bland, and I mean, the TV's kind of cute and stuff, but it's not enough to get you to be like, oh, I need to get this avatar, you know? All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you haven't yet, please make sure to go check out the review. And if you already have, then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification if you enjoyed it because that'll let you know when I upload my new reviews and videos and streams and stuff like that as well, as you know. So, <laughs> all right, I think I'll just leave it there. And thank you so much again. I will see you in the next video. Peace.